Hi, I'm Roy Moore with uh, the Scout Patch Auction and the and the life member of ISCA, International Scout Collectors Association. Uh, this is one of a series of how-to videos for uh, adding information into OAIG, the Order of the Arrow Insignia Guide. Uh, this video talks about or goes through the instructions on how to add an issue that's not yet in the database. Um, I've got a couple issues here that. Uh, uh, we're going to add in uh, a delegate issue from Tutelo Lodge and then a uh, an uncatalogued issue, probably a uh, manufacturer sample, but uh, not yet in the database. And if the patch exists, we need to put it in there from Neuraticon. Um, so let's uh, first we have to go to the website. If you're not already there, it is uh, oainsignia.com or several other uh, Email uh, URLs will get you to uh, the website oaig.org. Uh, the system is open for anybody and everybody to be able to use and add information or to look at the information. But to be able to add in the information, you have to sign up. And if you haven't signed up, you need to do that. Once you are, you need to sign in. Um, at the top of the uh, menu, all of these are different tabs to take you to the home page for OA Insignia. Recent changes, uh, I was adding a number of images yesterday. People have uh, been putting in uh, uh, new issues and assigning o uh, OAIG cataloging uh, to the system. Uh, we're going to work with this menu option of adding an issue. And so, as I mentioned, I've got uh, 161, uh, enter that in. And there's actually several launches with that number. We want to work with Tutelo and then press continue. Um, this is the information screen for issue details. Uh, it, there are no chapter, this isn't a chapter issue, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, select the shapes. The shapes are predetermined. These will provide the standard code that the uh, hobby's used for decades. Um, to uh, This is a fully embroidered or solid flap, so I choose that one. Border, uh, DBL for dark blue. And for all of uh, the colors, there is an option now because of the change in patch manufacturing technology where you can note that it's a mylar thread. This will add a special M to the uh, standard color selection. Uh, we, in trying to design the uh, updated system, realized that there's just uh, too much technology changing in the thread. So we uh, have looked to trim some of the colors and let the pictures sort of give the nuances, but also on uh, mylar thread versus non, uh, rather than have double the laundry list, we just said you can flag it for a mylar thread. Um, types of edging, this is a rolled edge, background is multicolor, again, not mylar. Lettering, lettering, that's always refers to the lettering of the lodge name, uh, first and foremost, and this one is yellow. BSA or fleur de lis color, in this case it is also yellow. And then issue type, it's a regular issue, but obviously there can be event issues. We're going to end uh, something using a special circumstance here for that next issue, but this is just a regular issue. I always start out by noting whether and what it's a BSA or a fleur de lis that uh, is, is the uh, written logo on the patch and then other things that are specific to the patch like this is a no 2012 no act patch it also is a delegate and since it says delegate i'm going to type that in in quotes that so that people know that that wording is in there and the final thing not required but uh, certainly the easiest and best time to do it is to upload an image and uh, these are in the uh, you can add it now, but it can also be added later. Well, let's scroll down and find this one. It's uh, 1617. I'll show another way that's somewhat quicker, uh, though. Uh, what I normally use is to type in the actual uh, image name and have it uh, come up. Uh, we are used to working with so many images here at TSBA. 1617, and there it is. So I open, shows me a preview. If for some reason I clicked on the wrong file, didn't like what I had, I could remove it now. But this is what I want, and there's the issue added. Um, 
home or add another issue. Let's go to recent changes though. And now you can see a uh, new issue added. It's got a pending. We don't have a catalog uh, number for it. It'll never have a blue book number because it didn't exist in under the blue book system. Uh, image icon is activated and there's the image. View Lodge will take me to Tutelo Lodge and show me uh, we're up to 310 listings now. Uh, I said I was going to add one more issue here as an example, and it was going to be Lodge 9, Naraticong, not any of the other ones. Issue data, is, again, not a chapter. Select the shape. It is a fully embroidered flap. Border, though, is black. And here's what the patch looks like. Uh, this time it's a cut edge. Background is multicolor. Lettering is red. I'll show an example here. If I uh, see if I did this, we'll show you make a mistake on it if I don't know the list of colors. And the BSA is also red. Type. This is probably, the, and this is a redefinition of the Y category, special circumstances. I'm pretty sure the Lodge never ordered it this way. It is probably not a fake because it, it's exactly like the original Diamond Jubilee issue, but it's an unfinished border. So special circumstances Y has been redefined um, from what used to be in the old cataloging system. It has a BSA rather than for three, uh, unbordered version of SMY bordered DJ Diamond Jubilee flap and let's choose the file and what's that number ESCF nine one two seven so I can type it in directly well what was the number here? 93716. So I chose the wrong image. Don't like it. ESCF 93176. Can't be. 9317. There we go. Yep, that's it. And and the issue. Notice though, because I didn't enter a valid color and because uh, I couldn't, I do remember the code, but just wanted to show the area. It will show you the list. You can view the colors and it will show you the list of the approved uh, color codes. And so you'd be entering these three letter abbreviations, but it will pop up the error screen if you need, uh, don't remember the colors or mistype something. And, and sometimes I get it, uh, some of the yellow uh, or blue variations. Add that issue in and turn home and there's a, so it's a YS pending issue. And that is uh, how to add an issue. There's a number of resources here. Uh, won't go through the other menus, but uh, rules and guidelines, overview, support information, uh, ISCAs, catalogs, and reference lists are all, uh, will link and take you to these other pages, the uh, documents for guidelines for OAIG and things like the most current standards and stuff. So uh, easy links there to bring you up to those other pages. Um, always uh, looking for editors. This is for assigning of editors. You have over here, one can also look at one's profile and uh, if you have editor assignments, that'll show details there as well as like So that's how you add an issue, uh, have at it. We figure, um, Hodges are issuing as fast as uh, we can get them into the database and sometimes even faster. So enjoy. Thank you for your time.